in an entertainment age of course we are sukanya good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to the launch and presentation of the first raj kapoor awards for excellence in entertainment it's an honor and privilege to be the mc for this momentous occasion i'm sukanya and i am hussain and, and we will be your master, master of ceremonies, ceremonies for this, this joyous event, event. On behalf of the Asian Center of Entertain Entertainment Education and its flagship program, the Third Eye, which is a creative alliance partner for global health and sustainability of Hollywood Health and S Society, University of Southern California, Annenberg, Norman Lear Center, and funded by the Bill and Mel Melinda Gates Foundation, I welcome each one of you present here. The Third Eye program, in partnership with the World Bank's uh, Dime Development for Impact Evaluation, Initiative UNICEF, Center for Media Studies, Delhi, Women, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, Women in Film and Television, the Cinepolis Foundation, and other international partners is excited to be hosting this event. Walt Disney, the pioneer of the American industry, animation industry said, I would rather entertain and hope that people learn something than educate people and hope they were entertained. 2018 is a special year for Asian Center for Entertainment Education as we bring together our partners and other stalwarts from the Bollywood industry to unveil the Raj Kapoor Awards for Excellence in Entertainment to honor people who not just entertain, but also in the process had something to educate people about. True, Sukanya. In fact, isn't that what uh, entertainment education is all about? the process of purposefully designing and implementing a media message to both entertain and educate, so as to increase um, audience, uh, audience members' knowledge about an issue, create favorable attitudes, and influence behavior and cultural norms. Yes, Hussein. And isn't it what ACE has been doing since the time it came into being in the year 2012? Co-founded by Ms. Vinta Nanda and Mr. Agustin Velias, <laughs> ACE attempts to bring together expertise to create a unique organization that understands the complex, vast, and dynamic media environment and the equally complex social issues being tackled by a vast number of stakeholders in the development sector. ACE's mission is to build and sustain platforms for creative communities to interact with specialists, social scientists, and experts from all walks of life, to design immersive experiences, and to construct contemporary storytelling models 
which are evolutionary in form and which frame credible alliances between content creators and their audiences. From the earliest human existence, stories have helped us to understand and shape the world, enabling us to share our experiences with one another. Stories inspire us, teach us, move us, and in so doing, they change the world. ACE, in the process of building and sustaining platform for creative communities, has realized that there are stories and there are people who have inspired, taught, moved, and changed the world, and it is imperative to recognize and honor these people. And with more and more films being made and released by the film industry with strong social messages and also doing well commercially, ACEE believed it was the right time to celebrate the original showman of India, Sri Raj Kapoor, who bridged the gap between commercial and artistic success with his movies like Boot Polish, Sri 420, Avara, and many others. And today, we are here greatly delighted and excited to be unveiling the Raj Kapoor Awards for Excellence in Entertainment in honor of the unparalleled showman, Sri Raj Kapoor. This award is surely a reminder to us, to the film industry, and to the entire world that India was way ahead and Sri Raj Kapoor was already doing entertainment education even before the term was coined. And today we are also thrilled to be pre presenting the first Raj Kapoor Awards for Excellence in Entertainment trophies for the year 2018 to people who have done significant work in the field of entertainment and are uh, pre present am amidst us. Sorry. Without much ado, I would like to now invite the woman behind this event, producer, director, writer, and a visionary, the managing director of Asian Center for Entertainment Education, Ms. Vinta Nanda, to kindly come and welcome the gathering. Thank you, Hussein and Sukanya. That was one hell of a lead into my name. I have to read this because this is uh, a great moment, I think, at least in my life and my working life. I was five years old when I saw the first film of my life. It was a long film, they said. And my mother and my paternal aunt packed aluka parathas and carried them along with seven of us kids to the theater. The film was Mera Naam Joker, and my memory is vivid, because this was also the first time in my life when I got to know that the most brilliant form of theater in which people and animals perform together is called a circus. And that among all of the most spectacular performances that you get to see in them, there is a joker who makes you laugh. I also learned perhaps the first indefinite lesson of my life, and that is, that he who makes you laugh is also he who is a sad man. I was a little girl then, and here's what else I also brought home with me after seeing Mera Naam Joker, and what it was about the film that had left an imprint on my mind and made me the woman who I am today. The film gave birth in me to the idea that a man can love a woman more than she loves him and that a woman can cherish the appreciation of one man while she's in love with another man. I was also awakened to the idea that it is fine for an artist to live her dream and not feel guilty for leaving behind a man who loves her with all his heart when she is in search for a higher ground in her practice. I was also provoked into the notion that a woman lost has the right to accept the emotional support of a man when she needs it and that when she walks away from him at the time when she, was finally, when she has finally found herself, she's certainly not a bitch. In Mary, played by the gorgeous Simi, I found the meaning of the world freedom. In Marina, played by Senia Ryabin Kina, the Russian trapeze artist, I had understood way back then that the thirst of an artist shall never be quenched. And in Minu, essayed by the beautiful, but by the bu by by so beautiful and sexy Padmini, as a girl who was barely five years old, I got to know that a woman gives 100% to every moment that she lives. But that's not all that there is in her life. That she's open to the idea that there's a possibility of a greater happiness awaiting her, and that if she is fortunate, then her encounter with a second bliss must be embraced by her. I learned so many years ago that every single bit of happiness has a life that ends. And along with it, I also learned that the show must go on. 
I saw so many movies after I grew up, but never again in any film did I ever see three women so liberated. And never again in another cinema did I ever see a man portrayed who loved each one of them so completely and unconditionally. This to me was Raj Kapoor, the greatest storyteller and the quintessential showman. He had impacted my life at such a deep level when I was barely five years old and I lived every single moment of my life thereafter unapologetically and I was able to forgive myself and move on from all those situations that I faced since then and thereafter which were adverse. He had transferred me into a lifetime of happiness and into a lifetime of understanding the sorrow that would ever come my way. In a documentary film on his life called Raj Kapoor Speaks, made by his daughter Ritu Nanda, Raj Kapoor said, money, position, and success all are secondary. The basic thing is tomorrow, the knowledge and promise that tomorrow will be better than today. Nothing else matters. And in the times that we are living in today, I just keep getting reminded of these words that he had said once. So when we were working at putting together Elevate 2018 and thinking of what is it that entertain means to us Indians, I questioned myself into, I questioned myself one morning as I looked into the mirror and stared into my own eyes. I asked myself, what is it that entertainment means to me? And the answer that came to me was Raj Kapoor. Raj Kapoor is not an idea, not a concept, not an abstraction. Raj Kapoor to me as well as most Indians is a hypothesis. He manifested the principles of hope, the theory of change, and his body of work that all Indian filmmakers are subconsciously the students of. Confronted ideologies and opinions and cataloged the tenets of conviction and faith. Raj Kapoor, the quintessential showman of post-independent India, is a rare filmmaker in the history of Indian cinema to have placed mainstream and popular entertainment which he created and produced in contemporary social contexts. He was making films from virtually the official birth of Indian, India onwards when the violence of partition marked the translation, translation from British rule to democracy. And even without a close reading of history, it's clear that undercurrents in his work often measured the changes, both economic and social, in Indian society. At the same time, RK Films was a commercial enterprise. Intent on box office success, Raj Kapoor transcended the artificial line between commercial and art cinema long before anyone in India had even spoken about the divide and what is perhaps unparalleled to date is that he made it work. He made money, built careers, created a film empire which is still alive and kicking and at the same time created wonderfully aware social dramas which promoted nationalism, morality, and humanism. He wowed the critics and the box office simultaneously, be it with the romantic drama of Avara, which explored issues of identity, Sri Charso Bees, with its unapologetically socialist overturns of Vidya and Maya, boot polish as a response to the socio-political realities of a newly independent India, left bereft by bloodshed, strife, and poverty, and hopeful in the face of dire adversity. Jagte Raho, which, had the, which laid bare the hollowness of materialism, or even his later ventures like Bobby and Ram Teri Ganga Meli, both romantic dramas, but which clearly underlined the class and religious divides. The shallowness of a blinkered pursuit of wealth to the exclusion of everything else. And in the case of Sangam, Raj Kapoor introduced to the Indian audiences the modern Indian woman. With Satyam, Shivam, Sundaram, Raj Kapoor explored themes of inner beauty, love, desire, and redemption. <clears throat> Prem Rogue was a stinging critique of blatant patriarchal hypocrisy and a ringing endorsement of widow remarriage. So as a tribute to his legacy as well as the tremendous talent that has flowed from his family over the next three generations in the last 50 years, we are honored to be able to dedicate Elevate 2018 to Raj Kapoor's legacy and showcase his work to the creative communities of a very highly burgeoning media and entertainment industry as a reminder of the impact Indian cinema, specifically the showman's work, has achieved while addressing issues of importance and to institute an award in Raj Kapoor's name 
the Raj Kapoor Awards for Excellence in Media and Entertainment, which will felicitate the most powerful work from across all disciplines of creati creativity and from around the world. It is my pleasure to welcome all the esteemed guests who are present here today at this momentous occasion. I'm fortunate to know Mr. Randhir Kapoor, Mr. Rishi Kapoor, and sometimes whom I call my twin soul, Rajiv Kapoor, the three sons of the great showman, Raj Kapoor, who have achieved the greatest heights in their own careers too, as dear friends of mine, and Asian Center for Entertainment Education and Partners World Bank Dime Unit, the USC Annenberg Norman Lear Center flag and its flagship program, Hollywood Health and Society, are honored to launch the Raj Kapoor Awards for Excellence in Media and Entertainment at this most wonderful event. Thank you. Thank you, Inta, for sharing your insights with us. John C. Maxwell, an American author and speaker, primarily focusing on leadership, says, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. In order to honor such a leader who knew the way and also walked and showed the way for generations to come, and as a token of our sincere admiration, we will now show to you a, a video that's been put up by the creative team of ACE. The creative team of ACE has put together a tribute to the showman, Sri Raj Kapoor. Over to the team for the presentation. Lights up. The next session, a uh, discussion on the unparalleled social commentator, the showman Raj Kapoor. We invite the three Kapoor brothers who are here amidst us <coughs> to honor the work and the efforts of their dear, dear father, Sri Raj Kapoor. Mr. Randir Kapoor, the eldest son of Sri Raj Kapoor, is an actor, producer, and director in the Bollywood industry. After working as a child artist in Sri 420 and Do Ustad, Mr. Kapoor made his acting and direction debut with the leading role in the family drama Kal Aaj or Kal in 1971, which was the box office success. The blockbuster romantic drama Henna, directed by him in 1991, proved to be the most commercially successful film of the decade and was chosen as the Indian submission to the Oscar. We're delighted to have you here, amidst us, Sir, to talk about your father's legacy and workmanship. Mr. Rishi Kapoor, sir, an actor, director, and producer who has, <coughs> who also debuted as a child artist in his father's film, Mera Naam Joker, went on to win the Filmfare Best Actor Award for his first film, uh, 